away in three, two, one, go! Again, we have moved to the upper bracket here in round two. So both alliances have won their first match. Winning alliance will move on. Losing alliance will drop to lower bracket. Beak Squad is up first for the blue alliance. Taking a look over at Super Duke. Super Duper on the Red Alliance. They were able to get on that charge station, but did not engage, according to our audience display. We see them trailing now 48 to 53 in favor of the Blue Number Four Alliance. Wild staying in blue bumpers. They reach on up, drop off a cone, nice and easy. They're gonna zoom right by their Alliance partner, McQuanago Bears. McQuanago faces a hit from Jack and the Bot. Those robots though, they are focusing on offense. They'll take the defense where they can get it, but between the work of all of these teams on alliances one and four tons of offensive power check out jack and the bot one of the fastest robots on our field they make that cone from the loading zone all the way back to their grid in seconds for the red alliance minute and a half remaining in the match blue alliance trails by just one point 98 to 99. Super Duper Robotics over on the Red Alliance. Little bit of trouble over here for number one. Super Duper's manipulator is stuck on one of those cone nodes. We're getting a close look at that with our field crew. Super Duper has recovered. They were able to unentangle their roller from that cone node. And for good measure, OP Robotics drops a cone on it. As soon as Super Duper pulls away, Jack and the Bot now back with a cube right alongside OP. Wild staying up and over that charge station with a cube. That cube filling in the bottom row now. Six links, seven links for the Blue Alliance. First two rows completely full, but the same is said for the Red Alliance. Red Alliance is slightly closer when it comes in terms of our supercharged node possibility. Just two game pieces from my perspective are missing before that Red Alliance grid. 30 seconds remaining in the match. I see one game piece missing for the Blue Alliance, but Beak Squad just moved a cube and it looks like the Blue Alliance will supercharge a node. That's thanks to Wild Sang wearing blue bumpers. Back over on red, they're ahead by just two points, full grid of their own. Three robots docked and engaged for the number one alliance. Five seconds remaining. They need to engage on blue. They've done it. Our live score shows a two point advantage in favor of the red alliance as time expires.
Robot fans, the difference in scores is just two points. The winner is the Red Alliance. Another playoff match here at IRI where both alliances put up 200 points in Charged Up. The winner, though, is the red number one alliance score of 205 to 203. That means Alliance One stays alive in that upper bracket. We will see them in round four, match number 11. The Blue Alliance, number four alliance, they are still in this tournament. They just dropped to the lower bracket. We will see them next round in match number nine.